Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4 Road to 56 mod here today on the channel. We have episode 5 of my United Kingdom Democratic Winston Churchill Allies campaign. It's November 1945, going into 46. Germany defeated under our control. Italy destroyed under our control. Japan decimated under our control. The Soviets, the Chinese, and, well, technically like the, the Italians that fled to South America as well, that's what we're going to be dealing with here today. But um, things are looking good for FDR, Winston and the boys, as Austria is finally being called in. The Central Powers have been defeated. And now we're trying to finish off the last of the Rome Protocol, which may, which were able to bring in Austria and Hungary. Iberia has been reclaimed. Romania is actually like escaping into the Soviet Union, even though they attacked them. Uh, we're still fighting here on this in the Chinese front, and at the moment, Rome Protocol hasn't capitulated as Argentina is. Putting up a pretty decent effort. But hopefully once Austria and Hungary are defeated and there's peace on the mainland, European continent, we'll be able to divert all those resources, the divisions, the battalions, all that juicy infantry over to either the front in China, or potentially down in South America as well. Alright, Augsburg has now fallen. Austria was uh, never anschlutzed into Germany. They were divided in the end. Alright, looks like the SSSR, which is a Nearly a China sort of style union. Stalin and uh, the boys aren't about, it's just done by a committee. Alright, Hungary's about to fully capitulate once uh, Budapest is under our control. We nearly should nearly war goal against them. It's only 15 days if we were to do it. But we might as well. It actually might allow us to go into China that little bit easier. We're pushing the last of these Austrian forces onto the Polish-Soviet border. Alright. Even with Italy, Hungary and Germany surrounding Austria, they are still absolutely fighting to the bitter end. Maybe, um, you know who. Voldemort <laughs> fled Germany when the Kaiser rose and uh, was really helping out the Austrians. Nice. Africa's fully under our control. Into China as well. <gasps> oh, we're at war with them. <laughs> It's because we have... Uh, I, I gasp because I know what that means. Because Finland has been in the Allies for quite some time. Oh, would you believe it? Oh, Britain. Is that war with the... Not the USSR, just the SSR. The French Compact. <laughs> what? I get... Yeah, because the French were... Uh... Comrades, at one point, they've capitulated. I guess they're fighting for their reinstation. Yeah, because um, Germany took like the uh, Germanic-speaking territory and lands in France. We obviously got those old historic ones, as the UK on that Brittany Aquitaine border. Oh well, this Poland's about to expand. We have there's been a bit of fighting in and around that territory on. Belarus and uh, Ukraine with the Romanians. 
But now we're there now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> As if they're still around in 1946. Oh my god. Socialist Italy has fled. I love that. The fascists flee to South America. Typical. Okay. We are gaining ground, but we have been fighting here for a year or so. Our war support has gone up quite a bit. Now that the UK and the Soviets are at each other's throat. Okay, the Turks are now pushing through the Caucasus. That would be a vital front if they can push through. Okay, we're pushing now into Mikolaev. The skirmishes are now breaking out. And Polish forces are hopefully about to land in Kiev. Okay, we've got some more German forces now pushing to Chernihiv. Um, Minsk is about to fall as well. Petrograd. <laughs> All right, I guess it got renamed. Wait, they're at war with Iran now as well. Not going to get any ammunition, munitions, artillery shells from them, I suppose. And obviously the Finnish border. Yeah, I don't know. Did they just throw their game? They're like, yeah, we're done with this. <laughs> uh, the thing is, if they capitulate before China, they're going to have a... Um, A claim to particularly that Siberian territory which they probably would have eventually claimed if the US didn't get but so now I thought we were going to be focusing on the last of the Austrians and Hungarians here today we did for the first little bit but now it's full on blown to a UK incursion into Mother Russia oh wow and now the Germans just have smashed through Crimea. That can be sometimes a hard task, taking the island peninsula. Really boggy. And it's not, it's like, well, it's essentially like an island. Like, you need to, like, naval invade through there. It's quite hard to take Sevastopol sometimes, but. We've managed to do it. The Finns are about to take Petrograd. They're probably going to make a claim for that. That's kind of cool. Take St. Petersburg. Yeah, so it's not Kaliningrad. It's not St. Petersburg. Cool. Oh! Harry Truman's here. Uh-oh. Thankfully... Japan is fully under our control. Maybe in this alternative timeline, he's not going to drop Fat Man and Little Boy on Hiroshima or Nagasaki. It's going to be on Shanghai and... Well, I don't know. Um, Beijing? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so our aluminium, rubber, and tungsten's gone kaput here. As we're about to drop Vanguard, which will increase our heavy ship hull. That's nice. We have lost a fair few ships in this campaign. We've got 1.4 million in the core, maintenance company coming in as well. And we are just surging into the Western Soviet steppe with a united Europe pushing against the Union. And <laughs> Germany eventually attacked the Union. <laughs> this time with Allied support. They might even claim some of it as well. Because they seem to be doing quite well. Yeah, this is our living area for us, Winston? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, my God. 
air support over Belgorod. <laughs> Ironic. Seeing what uh, happened this week. Well, a bit of a push here now. Oh, maybe not. It was, <laughs> there was. There's still this like push here in Shanghai. It's turned into like. I don't know, like an ulcer on the side of China. Oh my god, they're about to capitulate. 600k, that's deceiving. It's not United, the Chinese one. Oh, wow. As if Argentina's become a major power. They always do tend to have a grudge against us, us British. Alright, maybe if we can take Indonesia, that would help our resources quite a bit. And we're pushing towards the Urals now. Against the French Russian Alliance. Okay. 75% towards capitulation. Not too bad. Oh my god. It's mostly the Germans, like, pushing for it. Hilarious. Ah, we've got all these, uh, spare battle plans just, uh, hanging around, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, sure, we'll use them. <laughs> Operation uh, Barbarossa, I mean, uh, liberate democratic peoples in Moscow, eh? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Okay, oh my god, they're only a couple of tiles away. Before German forces lift the democratic German flag over Moscow. In this twist, it's not the the Soviet banner over the Reichstag. It's going to be the uh, the German democratic banner over the Kremlin. <laughs> uh, thanks, Finland. Yeah. Probably going to liberate Karelia. Oh, well, they, you never know. They might actually have a bit of a claim for it. And this might help us with this uh, push eastward, because... Man, oh man, it's been a slug there. Oh, we've got some nuclear reactors coming along. That's nice. That's us not having weapons just yet. The US still technically might. We didn't even need to decolonize some of our forces. Australia. South Africa. The British Raj still free. Oh, and now we're pushing into China a lot better now as well. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we had our British forces that were liberating Iraq earlier. Now they're pushed up in Iran. Oh, here we go. They're about to capitulate. And then... I stunned and dusted. The Ruski should be over as they've quickly reformed and reallocated their Soviet administration capacity to Novograd. I said Novograd. <laughs> Been playing too much Witcher. Novgorod. Okay. <laughs> it's still weird to see the US occupying Algeria, Morocco. Okay, Kazan is now their capital. Nearly now. Mustn't be too much longer. They're so, so close to capitulating. <laughs> Nearly now. Okay, 
we've managed to connect a little bit of a land bridge there on the coast. Between those two naval invasion pockets. And is it going to be a concern? The last out holding. Hmm. I mean, if we swing up into, I don't know, like the Central Soviet Union there. Into that Buryat territory. It actually might help us in China. So, so close to Kazan here, fellas. Still only a couple tiles away. The Soviet Union. Still fighting to annoyingly, annoyingly, the bitter end. Man, oh man. Republic of China actually doing a tremendous run in this. I guess even Japan as well. Fleeing to Pyongyang. Whoa, where do they come from? Oh, they must have navally invaded through there. Shandong, they didn't even take in the end. Oh, here we go. They might be the Union gone. You'd hope so. Nice. Turkey took a bit. China took too much, though. Oh, we've been pushed back. Oh, no, we haven't. Yeah, we have. Oh, wait. No, but it's okay. Because there's a little bit. But there's a buffer state now that we're protecting. Okay, so we've got the Democratic uh, Risky Duma. Okay. There's actually a fair few regions there splitting up. Okay, that's alright. That's diversing former Soviet power. Uh, we've got the Ukrainians in Ukraine, in Kiev, in Kharkiv. We've got the Don Kass Cossack host. <laughs> the Germans took. Crimea, why? Karelia, Finland yoinked a bit. The states there as well. Oh god. Okay, so now. I, okay, so technically it's gone to the Chinese, but it's like. We're just gonna take it from them. <laughs> Alright. Well, unfortunately, on that note, we're gonna wind things down here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed episode 5 of the Hearts of Iron 4 Road to 56 mod. Allied United Kingdom campaign. Stay tuned for episode 6 coming out soon. Where we're still trying to finish off, finishing off the last of the Chinese. And the Europeans that fled to South America. Then helping out Argentina. Hopefully now we can use this collapse of the USSR to flood on over. And push China from this western position. Only two more major powers and factions to go before the Allies rule the world with freedom and democracy. Alright guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.